One of our guests is already making a yeah, racket. Yeah, yeah, that's a little, little penny. penny. Go to see Nan. <laughs> so look, our next guest, we're hoping for a quick delivery when she was pregnant with her second child. The first one's quick already. Uh, <laughs> but she could never have guessed she was going to give birth in less than a minute. Jessica Stubbins only just made it to the hospital <laughs> entrance when baby Lucy, who is good as gold, arrived. Uh, Dad Tom missed the whole lot because, of course, he was parking the car. Uh, <laughs> lovely to see you all this morning. And little Penny, who's running over there, the ground, and, and, always, it, and she's making a return. Here Come she comes. Come on, Penny, come back. Hi. You can see why uh, Lucy arrived so quickly. Penny's very nippy, yeah. isn't she? She's <laughs> so look, what was going through your mind as you pulled into the, uh, into the hospital car park there? Um, just I just told Tom, I said, you best drop me off at the door while you park the Did car. Did you sense things were imminent? Yeah. yeah. And then I was trying to close the door really quick, and um, as I got out, um, I just knew she was she was on her way. Even that quickly. Yeah. And what were you thinking, Tom? Did you realise it was coming that quickly? Not that quick, not at all. <laughs> I just you were thought... desperately searching for a parking place. Yeah. And in the right coins, <laughs> probably. Yeah, it was the only moment. like 100 feet away or something like that, and I still missed it. <laughs> Should we have a look at the moment? Because I don't think you've seen this properly Not yet. Properly, have you, Tom? No. Let's so have a look. If you ever look at camera four there, you can see on the, on the camera there, you'll see the footage. So this is you coming in, Jessica. Feeling a twinge through the first door. You didn't even get through the second, did you? And then... <laughs> I just, oh my goodness what do you me! And then oh, we blurred that for your modesty, obviously. And out pops. Daddy, daddy, yeah. And there <laughs> is straight away a baby. <laughs> what did you say, Tom, when you came in? I didn't say anything. It was just she was saying, um, "It's a girl. It's a girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I've missed it all." She felt oh. really guilty because I missed it. I was just in absolute shock and I didn't know what was happening. And you didn't even sit down. <laughs> this is what I can't understand. <laughs> You're just so casual about it. Yeah. Wow. Well, she was coming and there was no stopping her. There was no. There was no time to sit down. I think I would have sat on her. Yeah. Because you'd been uh, already earlier in the day. You'd been to the hospital. Say, look, I feel yeah. like it's on the way. But like many. Uh, mm. Women who go into labour, you get sent home. They're like, no, you have got plenty yeah. of time yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went home at the bath. I thought yeah. um, nothing's happening. I thought I'll go home. It's not. It's, it's not coming yet. Yeah. And uh, that was it. When we got the bath, and Tom got a shower. And then um, she, oh, you were obviously there with the umbilical cord still attached. You, oh, no. Tom would come back, and you were sort of gathering your thoughts. And then two nurses came along, didn't <laughs> yeah. they? I think because it was Demo late at Demo. night, it was midnight, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. And so what happened then? Um, well, I, mean, I only really remember Gemma. She came in <laughs> and um, she just took her hoodie off and wrapped Lucy up and then passed her back. And Danny had run off to get um, the midwives. Um, and then. Oh. Yeah, and then everyone just started coming in from there. I bet Amazing intervention. Did. Well, look, uh, Jessica and uh, Tom haven't had a chance to speak to the two nurses who came to their rescue uh, <laughs> from the birth. Although, to be fair, you did all of it yourself. Uh, they do join us now live from the exact spot that Lucy came into the world, Gemma Hoff wow. and Sally Parking. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So, um, what did you make of this? Because one of you, I think, uh, was heading off just for a bit of a meal break, weren't you, Gemma? Uh, when you came across this in reception, talk us through what happened from your perspective. I was, I just, um, I was on my break. I was heading to my car to get my food. Um, I'd got to near the, um, the main road. Um, I heard a scream and initially I thought it was um, a labour room window open and thought someone was just very loud but then I heard it again and then I heard footsteps so I turned around and saw um, Tom running so I looked in the entrance and obviously I could see Jessica stooped over and um, I thought that girl's not going to make it so I ran and by the time I arrived she was still stooped over but when I looked, she had the um, little Lucy in her arms. Wow. And, uh, and you must have thought, goodness me, did you manage to, you know, wrap up the baby and the umbilical cord was still attached and everything, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was, um, oh, it was surreal, like something off a film. Um, I just, instinct took over, really. I just took my jacket off because it's so drafty there, um, wrapped Lucy up. Um, told Tom just to get her a seat. Um, <laughs> got Lucy, got Lucy sat down, and then with that, um, Sally and, and another midwife came. So Sally, is it unusual for babies to come this quickly? I mean, it's extraordinary footage to watch. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? Occasionally, yes, it does happen because if a baby is naturally going to come, the baby will come wherever the baby is, wherever the mummy is. 
um, and you know it was a very safe happy environment um, when we came down I came down with a wheelchair my colleague ran down the stairs with warm towels and gloves um, we met a burly security guard with a huge smile on his face <laughs> and the whole environment was very calm and just Jessica was just so calm and relaxed and Tom was crying and Jessica was saying I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and he's saying it doesn't matter and it was just such a lovely experience she did so well we have meetings in there for hours trying to get young people to come into church and here they are on our doorstep fantastic so we want to work out how we can show these people that Jesus cares about Pokemon players and they will be here we'll quickly we'll speak to Paul well, you're, you're quite concerned about people's safety because there have been some accidents.